I like try to do pigtails? How would that look? <laughs> Call me independent, but I'm not too mad at it. Okay, everyone. Hello. I have, um, for this video, we'll just be doing pigtails. This is what my face looks like with short hair. I don't, I mean, this is more short than I would ever cut it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kruv. I'm so happy that you're here. Why do I always, why am I always so awkward when I start videos? Get it together. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Today, we're going to be watching some Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood trailer because I have hit every single trailer other than Stormblood. And you know what? I think it's time to finish the saga, the series, this, this video series. I think the viewer base is really on edge, just waiting for the next upload. So I'm going to be the benevolent person that I am and satisfy your needs. Woo! I see something! Okay, everyone, we are here on the Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood trailer video on the official Final Fantasy XIV channel on YouTube. Full citation is needed. Um, but I guess there's nothing else to do other than watch it. Now, I have watched this before. However, it's been some time, and I just want to rewatch it. Maybe I'll pick up on a couple other things that I haven't picked up on before. Uh, so, let's go. May contain content inappropriate for children. Children. It's so beautiful. I want to go there. getting seasick. Ugh. <laughs> Motion sickness. Square Enix. Wow. They're finding cr more creative ways to implement their logo. Especially with the shoe. Colors are so vibrant. That red. The, the stone color. Stone and the stone color and the, the moss. Strong boy. Oh. Oh, she got them red bottoms. She got a Louboutin. She got a Louboutin. You know, when you have sleeves that are five feet long, you might as well use them as weapons. That is the only time I've seen someone smile so happily after getting... Punched. Ooh, energy. Oh, that guy just going in there with that cannon. Ugh. I wish. Now we get some of the music. Love, 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 love. Love the music. Beautiful art. Good combat. Action, even though it's not like conflicting. Iconic shot. And then in tradition, we get a little expose of the map. Ooh. Everything's going by so fast. So I don't think I could really read it, anyways. Underwater, underwater content. You know, the one thing MMO players love, tried and true, is underwater combat. We love underwater stuff. Right? <laughs> she just got yeeted. Wow. Samurai. Profession. Great coloring with the red as well. 
Power color, I mean storm blood. Ooh, that hurt. He looks so cool though. If you can rupture someone's appendix while looking hot, good on you. Squirt Enix does it again. I mean, I guess they did it again. Five ago, but. Beautiful CGI, animation, cinematics. People's morality is fluid. I killed a bunch of people, but I will still smile. You know? Get you a man who could do both. Aw, a nice little rooftop date. Nice little rooftop date. It's always nice. Looking at the sunset. Storm blood. Beautiful. I love the art of this actually. I really haven't taken so much time to look at the um cover art for Stormblood. But that's really beautiful actually. So time for my overall impressions of the trailer and my critique. I have a couple different categories of story, uh, visuals, and overall like soundtrack music. Uh, so I guess, I guess I'll start with the story. I'm gonna turn this down just ever so slightly, just in case. Um, I would say for the story, this trailer in particular um, didn't really explore the story in the way that Shadowbringers did and Endwalker. I think that's kind of changed since Shadowbringers is Final Fantasy XIV and Square Enix are putting in voice acting for their cinematics. But for Arum Reborn, for Heavensward, and then for Stormblood, they really didn't focus too much on that. Uh, though with Arum Reborn, I was still able to get a sense of the story. And this... It does seem to be more of a cinematic, just exploring the beauty of the expansion itself and not necessarily super worried about the story. This uh, individual and the woman in the, the red, she could be a story character. She seems to be somewhat of a story character. I think I've seen her in game. I could be wrong. Uh, but overall, it was just kind of a trailer that showed the themes of the expansion and that kind of goes into the visuals now i think a hundred percent a plus a plus on the visuals truly enjoyed the color the contrast and the vibrancy the contrast of the red to the the, the stone it looks wonderful even here the shot of the desert and the, the the mountainous iron and the waterfalls it's a lot to visually take in and then we transition to the main city uh, also, just this, the blue and the red. Pretty, beautiful, good contrast. Classic color contrast for good and evil, though this might not necessarily represent good and evil. And then we get over to this transition into the city area. Well, actually, first we go underwater. And the underwater section, it's nice as a quick cameo, but it, it doesn't add anything other than show what is in the game, like another area, which is fine. So theoretically, you could cut it from the trailer and nothing would really happen, unless, of course, this place has, has story significance, which I might be at a deficit for. Uh, so I fully will uh, admit that. But this area, another tone shift in visuals, in terms of now it's the town area, it's merchants, it's living quarters, it's it's the town instead of just this temple-esque area, which was really gorgeous. Now it's like just the more normal everyday life with seemingly a uh, police force or some uh, enforcement or maybe just a, a bandit group and there's a samurai. And beautiful colors, not getting a whole lot of story from it other than maybe this character is 
a bit devious, a bit of a thief or an outlaw, someone with a bounty, lives on the edge. Great action. And I guess that leads to my final point, the music. This trailer wasn't super grand in its music, which I would say is a departure from the other Final Fantasy XIV trailers. The music in this trailer was a bit more subdued. It was planned and carefully used towards the end of the, the statue scene with the two um, monks fighting. And then it kind of builds to that vocalized, very stylized music. And then we get to the end where we really start to see more of the classic Final Fantasy XIV, orchestral, uh, choir, and it all kind of comes together really beautifully. So I would say this is a pretty, this is like a, a B, a B, B, B plus trailer. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like if you liked it, comment down below your thoughts on the Storm Blood trailer. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you my patrons. And if you want to become one, link in the description. Bye everyone.